Good morning, Jefferson School. I'm Caroline, and welcome to the special end of the year edition of Roaring Jaguar TV, home of the news and views that will make you snooze. Today's top story the Jefferson fifth graders are getting ready to move on to middle school. During the past few months, the fifth graders have shown their strength, resilience, and grit as they finish the year strong. They are prepared for all the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. Over the past month, there have been many special events to celebrate this important milestone. There was the fifth grade pool party, the fifth grade luau, and the fifth grade moving up ceremony. The fifth graders are excited to go to middle school in the fall and they will take with them the many great memories from their time at Jefferson School. A few weeks ago, the fifth graders took a tour of the Lawton C. Johnson Summit Middle School. Mr. Safoni, the principal of the middle school, talked with the fifth graders about being a sixth grader. Several teachers and counselors also spoke with the fifth graders about next year. The Jefferson students were given a tour of the middle school. Their tour guides were former Jefferson students. In addition, the fifth graders learnt about Stokes, an overnight field trip they will be taking in the fall. The visit to the middle school helped the Jefferson fifth graders feel more comfortable about moving on to their new school. Today's episode of RJTV is brought to you by the word hero. A hero is a person who is admired for courage or noble qualities. Have a hero, be a hero, have lots of heroes. Heroes, they're all around Jefferson school and all around Summit. RJTV gave the fifth graders an opportunity to thank one of their heroes. Here are a few of their answers. My real life hero is my dad because he taught me to be strong and keep my head held high. My real life hero is my grandpa because he was a firefighter and it always amazed me how he would save people with his job. My real life hero is my mom because she gives me everything I need and has taught me to be respectful. My real life hero is my sister April because she helps me understand things that I don't get. She always leads me down the correct path using her own life experience to guide me. My real life hero is my brother Gustavo because he helps me have fun and he helps me when I'm sad. My real life hero are my parents. I look up to them because they are super kind to others and set a good example for me and my brother. The fifth graders submitted to Audio TV a list of their favorite books. Here are a few of their book recommendations. One of my favorite books is Holes because it's funny and you never expect what's going to happen next. One of my favorite books is The Tale of the Cisperon because it teach you find for what we want. My favorite books are Percy Jackson series because it has humor, but it also has serious moments. It has great character arts and good life lessons. I recommend The Last Kids on Earth series because each book is filled with action. I recommend Dogman because it made me love reading and it makes you feel like you are in the book. All of us have grown and come so far to get to this point in our lives. We'd like to share with you a slideshow that captures a little of that journey.
RJTV asked the fifth graders what they want to be when they grow up. Here are their answers. A pediatrician. A movie director. An artist. A model. A pediatrician. An NBA player. An architect. A cardiologist or a family care physician. A math professor. A missionary horse Megan Ranger. Olympic wrestler. A mechanical engineer. A police officer. A paleontologist. An actress. A genetics counselor or a teacher. Doctor. I don't know yet. An Olympic level rhythmic gymnast. Professional soccer player. A marine biologist. A veterinarian. A coder. An MBA player. A math scientist. An author. A teacher. A biologist. A model. A professional soccer player. MLB player for the New York Yankees. Computer science engineer. An MBA player. A pro snowboarder. An actor. A doctor or a scientist. An actor. A technology engineer. Engineer. Doctor. An engineer. A doctor or a teacher. An auditor. The fifth graders were asked to describe Jefferson School in one word. Here are some of their responses. Fantastic. Supportive. Helpful. Kind. Enthusiastic. Accepting. RJTV asked the Jefferson graduates what they will be doing this summer. Here are some of their answers. This summer, I am excited to go to Canada. I'm excited to hang out with my friends. I'm going to France this summer. I'm traveling to Colombia and I'm really excited to see my family and friends. I'm going to the beach and the pool. Playing basketball and visiting my family in New York. During my summer break, I will be sleeping. RJTV gave the fifth graders the opportunity to thank one of their favorite teachers. Here are a few of their answers. I want to thank Ms. Vince for teaching me how to be kind and stay organized. I want to thank Ms. Lanika for teaching me how to speak English and to understand tasks. I want to thank Mr. Rogers for teaching me that making mistakes are okay and how to write. I want to thank Ms. Yasmin for teaching me how to make optical, optical illusion art and teaching me how to use plaster to make masks. I want to thank Ms. Pilla because she has given me extra help to catch up on school work and whenever I have a problem, she always helps. I would like to thank Mr. Bell for teaching me how to easily do long division and how to fillet a fish. The fifth graders were asked to share one of their best memories of Jefferson School. Here are a few of their responses. One of my favorite memories is when we went to Sandy Hook Beach and we got to go in the water and catch fish and crabs. When we went to the Liberty Science Center. Participating in all the clapouts. Doing the hovercraft project. Participating in intramurals. One of my favorite memories is doing the jack plays. The following are some words of wisdom for the next year's fifth grade class. It's okay to try and fail, but it's not okay to fail to try. You can pick your friends, but they can also pick you, so be kind. Be confident in yourself. Always have a growth mindset and never give up. If you have a dream, go for it and keep persisting. Always stay caught up. Try your best, show respect, have fun. This is RJTV reporter Dio. It's time for the top five list. Today's topic is the top five things Jefferson students plan on doing over the summer. Number five, swim at the Summit Pool. Number four, participate in one of the great programs at the Summit Library. Number three, use their STEAM skills to build, create, and invent. Number two, read, read, and read some more. And the number one thing that Jefferson students plan on doing over the summer is Relax and have fun. 
we have a few important Jefferson School reminders. Fifth graders, don't forget to continue to read over the summer and keep your study skills sharp. We want you to walk in the doors of the middle school prepared and ready to make Jefferson School proud. Remember, Friday, June 14th is the first official day of summer vacation. There is no school and it's okay to sleep in. RJTV will be off for the summer, but it will be back in the fall. A special note to the current fourth graders at Jefferson School. As you prepare to become fifth graders, we want you to know that we are honored to pass RJTV on to you. We know that you would continue our tradition of covering all the important stories around Jefferson School. And finally, as we sign off to end a wonderful year, we want you to remember, if you don't like the news, then go out and make some of your own. One of my favorite memories is when we got to Today's top story, the Jefferson 5th graders are getting ready to move on to the middle school during the fa- <laughs> All of us has gone- <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> all of us has gone and some stuff. <laughs> all of us the- A pedestrian, wait. <laughs> A pediatrician. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I went to <laughs> I Rebecca I reckon mm. <laughs> My favorite ja Jefferson <laughs> I know I get a technology engineerist and and a technology oh god <laughs> an engineer technologist No it's a technology engineer <laughs> Graders, don't forget to continue to read over the summer and keep your study schools uh, study skills. <laughs> Where you go, point? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the number one thing that Jefferson students plan on doing over the summer is relax and have fun. <laughs> Oops. I was going to work All right. RJTV will be off for the summer, but it will be back in the fall. A special note to the current fourth graders at Jefferson School. As you prepare for the... <laughs> <laughs>